So this week we are drilling some holes in granite for a gate post uh, and laying some blocks. And we are also cutting a lot of grass preparing for uh, new vegetable beds. And we'll be doing a little bit more block work. We also make a little visit to uh, Steve and Natalia from Portuguese Quinta Garden Culinaria. And we also pay a little visit to Ewan and Carissa from Frankie Off Grid. So, as you can see, well it's become fairly evident, there's a huge lump of granite here, which is sort of Mother Earth. So, I'm going to drill a hole in it, but to do that I have to get the big boys involved. So we have the big uh, diesel generator and the big, big Bertha, as I like to call her, and I'll drill a big hole to take this pole. Simple stuff. So in amongst all this dust, I hope you can see, um, the reason I, I started off with a small drill bit, yeah, and then went around with a bigger drill bit, the reason is that if you start with a small bit, you can get the holes fairly close together. When you put a big bit through them then, it generally breaks, so you put a bigger bit. All the, so if you've got five holes, six holes, whatever, in a, with a small drill, yeah, you put a bigger drill, then the edges are almost touch all the way around which is sometimes it was gripping as you could see and all those touched edges means that you've actually broke the core right in the middle I just need to get a chisel now and um, try and get this out all looking very white here so as you can see that was relatively successful I don't know if you can see down there Ooh. but uh, there's a little triangle in the middle which the the drills have veered either side of, must be a harder bit of granite or something. So now I'm just going to try and break that out a little bit. Okay everyone, I just thought I'd show you this. Um, easy way to clean out a hole, if you drill a hole and there's lots of dust and stuff like we had. Easiest thing to do is a bucket of water if you've got, if, you, if it's not going to hurt having water everywhere. But it's a process called fretting, I think it's called fretting. It's what happens to um, roads while you get potholes in roads. Uh, if you get water and a tar car tire goes over the puddle of water, the impact blows all the dirt out of the out of the hole, and then obviously then starts to break up the hole, gets bigger, etc., etc. That's why you get potholes. But this is, I'll show you how to clean this out. 
from a height. So it gets progressively cleaner as you as the dirt comes out, yeah. So So, as you, I don't know if you can see, we're about a foot deep, and uh, to be honest, it's solid granite, so I think it'll be fine. Oh, hello. <laughs> that would be perfect. So unfortunately, um, this is the hill tea drill bit, yeah, this turned out to be an expensive hole, look what's happened. The end uh, fell off my drill bit and the end of the drill bit broke as well. But I think, I think, for some reason in the back of my mind, I think hill tea have a lifetime guarantee on their drill bits against this happening. Uh, so that's a hundred euros of drill bit there, knackered now. That was an expensive hole. Boss of the greenhouse, how are things going? Slowly. Slowly but surely. But surely, yes. And don't call me Shirley. So, uh, basic, simple little grout mix for what we're doing is one, two, Three, four cement. I'm going to go four. Oh, that was rubbish. A bit lumpy. Four sand. I'll give it a little bit more. Four sand, four cement. And just uh, a bit of water with that. Just make it quite runny so it fills in all the holes, yeah? I'll mix this up and then put water with it. So as you can see, this mix is more of a slurry than anything because uh, I've got, I want it to, you know, fill in all the tiny little holes. So I'm going to put some in the, in the, in the hole. hole in and then the rest of it. I mean it's not as deep as I would like it to be but because it's in solid granite on the front of the pole here is resting up against this solid piece here so the weight of the gate is going to be pulling against that solid granite so I don't have an issue with that at all. I'm going to fill it up and uh, let it go off. So as you can see I've now hung the gate but I've hung it on three door hinges yeah heavy duty door hinges um, because I couldn't get over the price of gate hinges. Uh, to put three gate hinges on this door, which would have made sense, heavier duty on this gate, etc., uh, would have cost me. Uh, let me think. Nearly 55 euros. So at present, I've spent 15 and just bodged it together until I can make some when I get the forge going. Because I'm not paying 55 euros for three gate hinges. No way.
So there, as you saw, we had a bit of help from our neighbour Jose. Uh, but we've managed now to put the smaller pipe inside the big one, which is in this little pool I've created here now. Sealed it all off with mud, very caveman type. <laughs> and uh, it runs under the road to here. We've still got a little bit that comes out through the original pipe. Then we've taken it all the way up to the tanks. And as you can see in here, it's now running into the tank, so that's brilliant. All I've got to do now is a bit of plumbing here, join the two tanks together, and uh, then we can clear this area and set the plumbing up for irrigation. For This is going to be pumpkins up here. No, sorry, down here is going to be runner beans and stuff and pumpkins on the other side. Cool. So, beautiful day like today. We're going to be doing some grass cutting. I've put the new cutter on the uh, tractor, and we're going, to, we're going to cut all this where the new veg patches are going. And then we get the rotavator out, and uh, yeah, give it hell. So there we go, uh, quick quick swim around there, well, quick fly around with the tractor. Now just got to get uh, the smaller mower out, the hand mower, and go around these bushes because uh, these oleanders, obviously, we want to keep. And and yesterday we we purchased some yuccas, uh, I think they're yuccas, something like that. No aloe vera's perhaps that we're going to plant in between uh, these down the driveway. Yeah, do you can see the cherries coming in blossom now? So I've got this down here to do. So, so we've been, <laughs> so we've been invited to uh, Dave and Julie's um, to celebrate their thirty-seventh wedding anniversary and. This little fella likes to be bottle fed. Unfortunately, well, it has to be bottle fed because his mother's not doing it. And There's yeah, daddy. He, hey, and <laughs> this is new dad. Has to do it. Yeah, we're gonna feed him in a minute, aren't we? And he's just pushed his way through the gate. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Gone through the gap. Just gonna have a beer. <laughs> yeah. You're drinking beer. Yeah. Oh, I love beer. You fed me yesterday. So here we are, Sunday morning, back at Tony and Nicky's to finish off uh, here. Block work to support this beam, because I'm not, I don't know what they've done here, but yeah, it doesn't look the best. And then across the top of the lintel we put in, down this side and down there. All easy stuff. Hoping to get that done today, you never know. So there we go, filled in the gap here, done a bit of shenanigans around there over the top of the lintel and got to support this one here is full of concrete now so it will support this beam uh, all that's done all we need to do now is fill in over the top of here and we're completely out of concrete blocks actually we've got that many left so uh, Tony's got loads of these so he's gonna fit them in vertically like that because it's not, it's not load bearing it's all it's do to, all it's gonna do is take I was going to stick plasterboard to it, yeah. So we're going to put them in vertical like that along there and then cut the plasterboard in to the profile of the roof. Job done. One of the reasons these guys moved here the view of the Estrella, Sarah Estrella. 
I'm here with Stephen and Natalia from uh, Portuguese Kindergarten Culinaria. Hi. And they've asked for a favour. <laughs> they're trying to break this out with a toffee hammer and a, and a shovel. No, <laughs> <laughs> they're trying to break this out. This is an old wine adega. Um, and they've got planning permission to turn this room into. I'll turn around. This room into a lounge and a doorway through there. They've got to do loads of work and they're mad enough to do it. So, um, yeah. It said brave, not mad. Oh, sorry, sorry, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, I've brought Big Bertha, you saw me use earlier, and uh, I'm going to give Steve a quick demo on breaking out this stuff. So this morning I've been uh, messing about with this, finishing off the rest of the roof um, so I can now bolt the roof down and uh, put the strips on that's secure. I've also <coughs> I've also filled in the rest of this in a hope that Wilbur over there, who's a troublemaker, doesn't knock it all down. So yeah, that's that finished there. And as you can see from the inside, I've added these bits in, so uh, I can now bolt the roof here, there, there, yeah, and then I can also then add on to here and put a couple of posts in the ground here, and then clean up my mess. So now I've finished that, and uh, I just made me a cup of tea. And then we're off to see the Foggies. Sort of a surprise visit, see how they're doing with their chicken run, etc. Anyway, here we are at the Foggies. Um, and, and a skinny, and a skinny looking, where is he? The skinny looks so different with all their hair taken off. <laughs> oh no, different dog. <laughs> Good girl. Good girl. All I'm doing today is a, a building inspecting <laughs> job. That's all I'm doing, nothing oh else. No, oh no. So I couldn't resist. I had to come and look at the monumental achievements of the uh, of the chicken house. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, well, I'll tell you what, guys, for a first, a first effort, that's, that's pretty good. You've got your bonding right most of the places. Really? A bit wrong on the back here, but there you go. That's good. And how many more courses? Three. So, wait, I think we're going to do three this side and two more this side. Have a slope. Okay. And then we're going to leave the triangular gap each side for ventilation. Yeah. Um, that's it. And there we are. So we have just two more all the way around and then the third layer no, on this side. Cool. We need to know what to do about above the door. I guess just the framing of the roof will cover that. Yeah. Yeah. You, you, your door's going to be at the height of the roof height so it doesn't, you don't need to put a lintel or anything in. The only reason I come here to, to uh, these coffee and tea experts is for the coffee and tea. That's, that's it. I, I don't come to see them at all. Yuan's mum sent us this. Look at this stuff. She's coming to visit, so I think it was so she can taste it, but we're going to have to order some more. <laughs> there, won't, <laughs> there won't be any left. <laughs> so what, we, what we've decided... Um, knock it down. We're going to knock it all down and start again. No, what we're going to do is... Hang on.
We're gonna have a quick cup of coffee and then do a couple of mixes and we should finish that off this afternoon in a couple of hours easy. Easy.
So there we go, uh, a, a few layers of blocks. This one here we're going to cut on a diagonal and then put the diagonal there so that fills, that fills the shape of the roof. Um, we find a piece of timber that can support the roof sheets in the middle. It'll all work fine and we're, we're almost, almost straight again. So that's all we have time for this week everyone, thanks for watching, thanks for doing the usual liking, uh, subscribing and ringing the notification bell, don't forget to check your subscribed and um, yeah I hope you enjoyed that one and we'll see you in the next one, bye! bye.